uh, I'm back. I'm going to make another video. I got a couple of my chicken stuff. The, some of the stuff that I ordered. I got the 12 volt timer. Uh, for the chicken coop light. I got two of those. Okay. My brother's the one ordering the stuff. So usually uh, he orders uh, two of everything. He knows me already. So uh, of these. Okay. This is one of these uh, uh, water cup uh, feeders for the chickens. Okay. Uh, training eggs. I got two of those, and of these cups, right, I got one, two, three, and this is for a future project, okay, this is going to be for rabbits, these are these uh, water rabbit uh, water feeders, I actually saw these on Unapologetic Prepper, so uh, I actually like those, so I took and I ordered some of that since I was doing uh, this I got today, but I'll show this later. This is a surprise. Okay, so let me show what else I got. Okay, I'm back. Looky what I got here. Okay. Uh, I finally got my chicken coop door. It came earlier than expected, which is great. Uh, this one's the extreme. It says it right here in the corner. Uh, this seems to be the new model, uh, the X5. I did research that's, uh, that this, the extreme, uh, could lift five times the weight of the premium, I believe, and that standard one. Uh, and this right here, I'm gonna surprise you later. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up, then I'll show you what this is for. Okay, so this out. Here's the chicken guard out of the box. It's heavy. I, I gotta see if that door is metal. Is it metal? I, it looks like metal. But we'll find out. Okay. It looks solid. Okay. Uh, it comes with this. Okay. It comes with a three-year warranty thingy there. And some installation instructions. Uh, some screws. Uh, these look like the rails. It comes with uh, batteries. Okay, these look like cheapy batteries, but they're batteries, okay. Uh, oh yeah, and the reason it comes with batteries, I found, I, I found this out uh, late. Uh, that's what this is for, okay? I found out that you only could use alkaline batteries, that they're, they're saying you shouldn't use, like, lithium batteries or rechargeable batteries with this. And if anybody knows me, uh, it has to be sustainable. I swore I was never gonna buy batteries ever again. I have to stick by that, okay? So, let's check this out. Oh, uh, oh, it doesn't come with screws like that? Okay. That's new to me. Okay. So I think I have to disconnect that little thing there. Okay. But uh, as you can see, it is a heavy device. It's very heavy. So uh, usually when it's heavy, it's better quality. Now I am going to go... Okay. Let's do this. The inside so you can see it. Okay. The outside, so you can see it. That looks like a light sensor right there. But this is what I want to do. Okay? Let's do what nobody on uh, Chicken Guard videos does. Uh, according to the research I did, uh, you could power this uh, from 5 volts all the way to about 12 volts. So, uh... I found out that you need a special cable uh, for this. It's called an A to A cable or a USB USB uh, cable. And now we're gonna go and check this out. Okay. This is a USB cable that is USB male here and USB male here. Okay. 
So according to the uh, research that I did, I got this little um, thing that I even downloaded. Uh, you could actually plug this in here and plug this into any uh, USB outlet and it should power it. Uh, you know, with the USB, okay, with USB power, five volts, okay. So I'm gonna find out right now, okay. So we're gonna test this out right now. Louis out. Okay, I'm back. Here's the chicken guard, okay. Uh, if anybody seen my videos, I got these uh, 12 volt outlets everywhere, okay. They have uh, some of them have USBs like this one right here. This is a 12 volt outlet with two USBs. So we're just gonna plug this in here and we're gonna turn on the switch, okay? Uh, oh. Okay. It says battery low, but it's on, okay? Cause that's probably the low end that this will operate and I do rather have let me see if I can squeeze any of these buttons just to stop this oh went up Let's see how the hell you bring it down I haven't read the instruction or oh, that door calibration I don't want to do that now Okay, no, I don't want to do that now, but, uh, yeah, the USB A to A cable does work, and this system here works on solar, okay, so now I know I could actually set this up uh, with my solar panel, okay, and as you can see, I got a heavy-duty uh, USB cable. Look how nice and thick. Uh, that's for the chicken menace. Okay, so yeah, very good. So yeah, it's on. But we're gonna do something better. I'm gonna actually, I might try it with the complete solar setup just to see if it, if it, if it works, okay? So, loose out. Okay, I did check out the door. It is metal, okay? It's insulated metal, I think, because it's metal here and it's metal back there. And then, check this out. I'm just gonna pull this up and you see how that goes in. That's the predator proof uh, thingy for the door. And these are the rails. So, uh, so far so good. I already know this works with the A to A cable, okay? Uh, I might do just like a little quick setup. Uh, or maybe not, I already know it works. It, the string actually went up. So uh, what I wanted to do was actually power the door, uh, you know, through solar. The thing over there is solar and it's a, it's a solar setup already set up. So, uh, I know it's gonna work solar because the string went up when I pushed up accident. You know, I, I haven't checked out the instructions, but I pushed up and uh, the string went up, okay? So, uh, yeah, I know this uh, works uh, with what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I got a video called Chicken Coop Plans. That, that's where uh, I, show the solar panel that I'm going to be using with this. So if you want to go check that out, you could. Uh, but yes, you could power this uh, with solar. Again, let me show the bottom. Uh, this seems to be improved because uh, now it comes with uh, what looks like to be a nine volt uh, jack, just in case you want to hook it up to AC, I believe. Uh, I'm going to be doing solar, so I will be using, uh, the USB, okay? That's what that, uh, uh, little USB thing that I got, uh, was for. Let me show it. Just real quick, this is the solar panel I'm going to be using for the chicken coop. Uh, the chicken coop, since I'm in the tropics, I'm in Puerto Rico, it's going to have a fan. 
Uh, this is going to be the battery for it. And let's go back to the door so I can show you uh, the USB. This is the USB that I'm going to be using. That's the one that I made uh, with a Decora blank. It's uh, from Blue Sea. It's actually for boats. So it's uh, chicken menace proof, okay? And it's inside a weatherproof box. There's the A to A cable set up. Locks up like that, okay? So just make pretend that's inside the chicken coop. Uh, the chickens can't get to it. It's not going to get dusty. It's inside a protective box. And then this, the other side of the USB, okay? As you notice, it's male and male, okay? Uh, then this goes there and it's going to be solar, okay? And this is the little mini charge controller that I'm going to be using for the chicken coop setup. Okay, so yeah. I am going to be using my chicken guard, okay, uh, with external power. But if you wanted to find out uh, one of the ways of how it's done, you could use it with this. Uh, this looks like a 9 volt. I've done this, like, uh, I've done so many uh, electrical connections. Uh, I'm almost 100% sure that's uh, 9 volts, okay? Even though these people uh, should... Uh, put it there or whatever you know they should write it down or whatever uh but i'm 100 percent sure according to this little on online manual that i read uh you could actually use this uh from 5 volts all the way up to 12 volts uh so i'm at the lower voltage okay that's why when i plugged it in it said battery low okay uh but uh yeah I'm going to be using this with external power, okay? So, Lewis, out.